Imagine starting off healthy and over time developing a variety of symptoms that are difficult for doctors to diagnose. Well, the medical mystery could be in your genes. It could be a rare illness. Here with more is Chief of the Department of Neurology at Penn PMC, Dr. Sammy Kella, along with Angel, who's a caregiver to her family. Thank you both so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. Thanks. Of course. Doctor, what rare disease are we talking about today? We're talking about HATTR amyloidosis. The H stands for hereditary. It means it runs in families. The A for amyloidosis means a protein has gone bad. TTR is the name of that protein, and that stands for transthyretin. This is a protein that we have all over our body, and when it goes bad, it's called amyloidosis. That's the name of the disease. This is a rare disease. About 50,000 people in the world have it. Um, <clears throat> Got it. Okay, and what are the symptoms that are associated with this condition? Uh, numbness and tingling in the hands and feet uh, are uh, some of the symptoms. But the, the main thing to know about the symptoms of this disease, it's progressive. Once it starts, it goes on and on and they get worse over time. There are other symptoms like heart failure, so people can get shortness of breath when they have heart failure. They're not able to go up steps. They're not able to stand and do the dishes. And sometimes people have stomach issues too. Right. So Angel, uh, you have a, a connection to this disease, unfortunately, with your family. Can you go into that a little bit? Sure. Um, my grandfather and his generation, uh, it started experiencing some of the symptoms that Dr. Kella had outlined. Um, we weren't quite sure of how they fit together or um, really what, what was causing it. Uh, we were fortunate enough to find a doctor who was able to give us the HATTR amyloidosis diagnosis. Got it. So, you know, the, the medical issues are a very private thing with a family. What inspired you and your family to go public and, and really uh, help spread awareness of this disease? So when we were first diagnosed, uh, as Dr. Kella said, it's a rare condition. We weren't sure who to go f to for information, where to really uh, get the information from, and, and what steps we needed to take to um, you know, move the needle on this disease. So it was very important for myself and my family to partner with El Nylum to create this book so other families receiving their diagnosis kind of um, kind of have a, a first step going forward. Well, I think it's great that you did that. I mean, this is the first time that I've heard about the, the disease. I'm sure many people watching uh, for them as well. So it's very important to have a, a starting point where others who come after you will be able to look back at, at everything you learned and everything you compiled in that book uh, and be able to you know, move forward. Uh, in a hopeful way. So doctor, if people want to get involved and, and help spread awareness about this, what would you t tell them to do? How would you encourage them to do that? Well, when you have numbness and tingling, those are very common symptoms. We all get those. But uh, if you have numbness and tingling that's getting worse and worse over time, then you need to see, obviously, your family doctor about it. If the disease runs in your family, uh, universities, big universities have amyloid programs where there are specialists who deal in the disease. And uh, finally, there's a great website called hattrbridge.com that has a lot of really good information on it. Excellent. We'll make sure to check that out, Dr. Kella. Thanks so much for all the information and Angel for sharing your very personal story with us. Thank you so much, Alex. Thanks for having us, Alex. Of course. And stay right where you are. We'll be right back. <laughs>